Hello. When I was given this assignment, I figure I should do it on something that I know how to do and that will be easy for me to teach someone else. I've been riding horses for a very long time, so I figure teaching you how to tack up a horse will be the easiest thing to do. There are three major steps to tacking up a horse. The first step involves the saddle pad, the second step involves the saddle, and the third and final step involves the bridle. After I explain to you these three major steps, I will show you a picture of a horse that is tacked up correctly. The first step involves the saddle pad. The saddle pad you will put on the horse's back and you'll make sure that the top of it is at the withers and the withers is where the neck of the horse and the back meet. You'll want to make sure that the saddle pad is evenly on the horse's back, not too far over onto one side because if it is, it can cause to rubbing on the horse from the saddle, which will cause them to be irritated and they may buck or crow hop or something. So your next step, the second step, is putting the saddle on. The saddle you will put right on top of the saddle pad and it will be lined straight up. It will be on the withers also. You'll want to make sure that the saddle is on there on evenly on both sides because you don't want to, it to slide off. You will then take the cinch that is on the saddle and put it under the horse's stomach and you will tighten it by pulling it through a buckle. You may have to do it a few times because the cinch is long. So after you tighten it, you'll put it through, you'll put it in the hole. You don't want the cinch to be too tight because after you warm the horse up, it will blow out. So it will cause more space and you'll have to retighten it. Some saddles do have a back cinch and that's just for extra tightening make sure the saddle stays on and doesn't move on the back of the horse. The third and final step deals with the bridle. You'll hold the top of the bridle in your right hand and you'll hold that up near the horse's head at the pole which is right between the ears. You will then hold the bit in your the corner of the bit in your left hand and you'll put your left thumb into the horse's mouth which causes the horse to open its mouth and you'll pull the bridle with your right hand and the bit will go in. After that, you will then pull the bridle over the horse's ears, which makes sure it doesn't fall off. And to even have even more safety for it not to fall off, there is a throat latch. The throat latch, you tighten. You don't want it to be too tight because it can cause the horse to choke. It's just there for extra support and safety to make sure the bridle doesn't fall off. Um, here is a picture of a horse that is correctly tacked up. As you can see, the blanket is evenly on the horse's back and it's at the base of the neck which is the withers. The saddle is on it correctly, it's evenly, and the cinch is tightened under the horse's stomach. They do have a back cinch on there, it's just to keep the saddle down on the back. As you can see, the bridle is on correctly, the bit is in its mouth, it's over the horse's ear, and the throat latch is tightened, but you can see it's still loose because it's not all the way tight. So to sum it all up, there are three basic steps, well three basic major steps to tacking up a horse. The first step involves putting the saddle pad on correctly. The second step involves putting the saddle on correctly and making sure that it's cinched up. And the third and final step involves putting the bridle on correctly and making sure that it won't fall off. If you follow these three major steps, it, you'll know how to tack up a horse by yourself. It does take practice, so if you practice on someone else's horse or your horse, the more you practice, the better you'll get. And it well, you will need some help because it doesn't always come easily and sometimes tightening it up does take, it is hard so you'll need help or you'll need someone to teach you. So, like they say, practice makes perfect. Thank you.